What's up, Virgo? And welcome to my channel. So, you guys, I decided to do a part two to this video because I really didn't get to finish saying everything that I wanted to say. Then, plus, I had three more cards over here that I didn't even get to get out, Virgo. So, let's go. All right, so Virgo, as I was saying before, we were talking about we clarifying this, this broken ring, okay? Some of you guys, you need to break off possibly from a joint business venture that you have and go into business for yourself. Because as you see, she got she up here on this horse by herself. Ain't nobody else up there, okay? So this talks about that you can be successful in a business venture by yourself, okay? All right, then we also have the Ten of Swords, okay? So hold on. You guys could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? And then we got the Ten of Swords, okay? This is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius again. So this card is in reverse, okay? So this talks about... Virgo, that the universe could be guiding you. Or they've been trying to guide you to say goodbye to either something in your life, but it's like you refuse to let go of this situation, okay? So with this broken ring, I feel like the universe is going to have to step in here, okay? Because the universe has been trying to guide you to maybe say goodbye to this person, maybe say goodbye to this business venture, but it was like you was just, you was going to be stubborn, Virgo. I'm going to just keep it real, you know what I'm saying? We all, hey, it's all love, you know what I'm saying? Earth signs. I'm, I'm a uh, Taurus moon, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely know I'm stubborn. You know what I'm saying? But it was like you didn't want to let go. Maybe you felt like this situation or whatever it was, you know what I'm saying? Like you saw something or you saw potential in this situation. But it's like if, if you ain't getting that back in return, Virgo, Virgo, you know what I'm saying? It's not fair to you. It's not fair for you to hold on to a situation just because of what you see, especially if it's something that you ain't receiving, baby, okay? All right, so then we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you guys, okay? So we know the Ace of Pentacles talks about some type of offer, a new beginning here. Commitment, you know? But this is in reverse, Virgo, okay? So this talks about with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse that a commitment or a relationship is ending. Look at this, you guys. I can't make this shit up. With this Ace of Pentacles, this talks about a relationship or a commitment is ending. Okay, the time you put in, you know what I'm saying, trying to plant the seed, trying to get this situation off the ground, it didn't get you nowhere. Okay, this talks about promises being broken. What we got here, this broken ring. Come through spirit. You know what I'm saying? And someone could be having a change of heart, or you could be, okay? So maybe you, you're having a change of heart, and you like, you know, this situation just ain't working for me, so I'm just going to choose myself first. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to move on in this situation. Then we also have the Ace of Wands, okay? So we know the Ace of Wands upright. You know, it talks about a lot of chemistry, a lot of sexual chemistry. You and this person having good sex, you know what I'm saying? But with this Ace of Wands in reverse, it talks about this chemistry that you have with this person's passion that you have with this person, you know what I'm saying? All that shit is fizzling out. You don't feel that same chemistry with this person, okay? You don't feel that same passion that you, you know what I'm saying, that you have. Um, also, this talks about that you could be no longer interested or maybe you're not even attracted to this person, okay, anymore. So, I feel like this is why you're going to, this is why spirit is going to lead you. And they have been trying to lead you away from this person, you know, but like I said, you guys have not been wanting to do that. So, listen to your intuition, baby, because your intuition, whatever it's telling you, that's the truth, all right? I love you, Virgo, and stay blessed.